Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Let me say, first of all, I'm sorry for the glare. I put it in like um, a little annotation in yesterday's video that my son cracked my phone finally. I know all parents like probably baby proof their phone and my son and myself have dropped my phone so many times and he eventually cracked it. So I guess I'm going to have to update, upgrade my phone. Anyway, so I wanted to come on and talk about just how I'm feeling. Um, I know I'm going to be making a video tomorrow as well. But I don't know. I've really been enjoying making videos. I've really been enjoying um, your criticism, your advice, your tips, your emails, your DMs. They're, you know, they're amazing. They're always um, appreciated. So things that I have been doing differently. I've really been trying to switch up. Um, my workouts is like a big thing for me. I don't want to stay consistent with my workouts, meaning the same thing every single day because it does get boring. I am a very boring person. I said that before, like my meals are usually the same. My workouts are usually the same. I love to stay on a regimen. I love my planner. Like I am a very, um, chaos organized person. Like I love organization in a chaos world, if that makes sense. However, I think it is best and I feel uh, a bigger difference in my body when I'm working out um, different parts of the body. Usually for years before um, surgery, I was literally only doing cardio, no lifting. And when I say cardio, it's usually because you can switch up cardio as well. But I was literally doing just treadmill, like just treadmill for years, definitely over five to seven years. And now that I'm switching it up, um, I don't know, I feel a little bit more confident. Um, I've been getting on um, like the row machine, the chest press, um, barbells, like just a lot of things that I usually don't do. Um, I talked about this in a video before about going into the gym at 5 a.m. when there's no one in there. And that's just for me to be able to use every machine, not have to wait. But also, um, you know, if I want to record and also I don't have to like have eyes on me. I feel like certain times of the day when you're in the gym, I feel like all eyes are on you. Like everybody's just like, oh, what is she doing? Or, oh, I need to wait for the, you know what I mean? Like, so I don't like that. So really switching things up has really been helping me in the gym. It's really also been... Um, keeping me I don't know more excited to go to the gym as you guys know as you guys know I tend to go to the gym five to six days a week um so I don't know it, should, it just feels good that I'm just not doing all cardio another thing in the gym um I really have been going away from listening to music and I've been putting on a lot of like home workout videos um gym routines, 5 a.m. workouts, um, you know, not really what I eat in the days because I don't really want to look at food while I'm in the gym, but just um, health-related videos. I do watch um, Day of the Lifes as well if if, they're, if I um, put them on there, but I noticed that I really haven't been watching, excuse me, I noticed that I haven't been watching YouTube during the day, um, like when I'm at work and then when I do my, my little nighttime routine, I'm really not focusing on YouTube as much. But when I'm in the gym and I'm in there for like 45 minutes to an hour, I'm at least watching um, some YouTube videos for like 45 minutes and then I tend to binge on the weekend watching YouTube videos. And I don't know, I tend, I feel like I enjoy it a lot more. And then when I am on the treadmill and doing cardio, it just goes a lot faster. Sometimes when I'm listening to music, I tend to, sometimes I zone out or sometimes I zone on the time a lot more. So um, that's just a thing that I've been doing, switching up my um, workouts. Another thing is meals, nutrition. As you guys know, I have been struggling the last few weeks with nutrition. I am trying to switch it up. Um, I have a few things with me right now. As you guys know, I meal prep, so I have my lunch in here. You probably can't see that. But I do have some oatmeal as well. And I have this um, bar that I showed yesterday, a protein bar, 200 calories, 10 grams of protein. However, my oatmeal, that oatmeal of choice is low sugar, Quaker oats, but it does not have a lot of protein in it. It has three grams of protein and how many? It has three grams of protein and um, I think somebody's going into my job. Yes, nice. 
All right, anyway, it has three grams of protein and um, 110 grams of calories. But I picked up these from the gas station. I went to go get gas today. Honestly, it's not my favorite. And gas station stops, I don't know, some places just don't have the freshest stuff because they're not, like, being bought too often. So, like, if I bought this, like, at a food center, like ShopRite, Acme, Aldi, I'm pretty sure it would be better because I, I do love these. Um, this is 120 calories, 23 grams of protein. So I'm opting to do this this morning instead of um, the oatmeal only because it's actually, it, it's about the same amount of calories. It's more filling and um, it has way more protein. So if you guys are like three, three months post-op or more, as well as have a, um, I would say not much of a restriction definitely go for these it's definitely something that you can it's minimal calories and um it's low carb if you guys care about that but um and it's a lot of protein 23 grams of protein it's really big i ate one already and i'm i'm full off of this but i also bought oh i finished this one i also bought this one as well today and this one is i'm so mad i picked this one up i think i was just looking at the calories with this one but this one is 140 grams of 140 calories, but it's only six gram of protein. But the thing is, with both of these, I got 23, over 30 grams of protein, so, or 29 grams. So I think that is really good. Plus, like I said, it's very, very filling. It's not the best sodium wise. It does have a lot of sodium in it, but like I said, just to switch it up a little bit, I do not do this every day. This is probably my third or fourth time doing this but it's a way to switch it up another option as you guys know i probably did smoothies for like three months straight and i just noticed that the smoothies have about 300 calories to 400 and i'm not full so it's like you're getting all these calories in and you're still wanting something else so this is definitely a good option it's all meat just protein and um it's filling like i said i ate this whole thing it took me all together 40 minutes to eat 30 minutes to eat this whole thing and then I'm not gonna eat this because like I said I'm not hungry and then I started to drink some water because of course with all the salt you get thirsty I try to eat as many carbs and like sodium dense stuff in the morning just so that it can help me out throughout the day especially because I just went to the gym um so yeah that is about it i just wanted to share that with you guys just you know switching it up a little bit if you guys are switching it up or um trying to get back on track and trying to make it more protein dense um carb less definitely let me know some tricks and ways that you're trying to get things in and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye guys